Hey guys, so I'm gonna do this one in a little bit of a different format than I normally do. In this video is if I was to have my time over again, how would I go about learning Google Ads or really any skill within digital marketing? So for those of you that don't know me, my name is Nick Armenis. I run an e-commerce Google Ads agency. So I specialize in Google Ads for e-commerce based here on the Gold Coast. I have a really big background in product sourcing and development. Uh, and then I got some experience also in Google Analytics, Google Ads, and I really enjoyed it. I had my own online store as a side hustle initially. Um, it did well, I sold it, not for a huge amount of money, but enough to kind of allow me to leave my job. Uh, and then I was able to, I still worked some jobs part-time um, in the start. Uh, and then what I did was I went full-time into running people's ads. So I was really, at, for quite some time, really a really well-paid freelancer for a really long time, purely because I really, really like uh, kind of controlling things, which is not a good thing. Um, but that was kind of the approach I took. Now if things have changed a little bit and I'm able to offload some tasks as well. But my main thing has always been, and it, it really comes down to how, if I was to relearn what I know now about Google Ads or just any business generally is, you need to make it suit your lifestyle and what you want to do because if you're going out there and focusing on something that you really don't enjoy. So if you're a person that needs constant like pressure and work and you wanna deal with clients and you want constant things to do, then building a business like I have done is probably not the right thing, right? You need to do what fits your schedule. I don't want to be working, you know, 100 hours a week. I wanna spend time with my family. I wanna spend time with my friends, my son. Uh, I don't want to be working all the time. I, I enjoy what I do, but it's not who I am. So you need to work out what, the what and the why, and then you can kind of go build the business for you. And that would be how you would approach things. I think for most people, just creating is probably a good avenue to working out how to relearn a skill or how to learn a skill. So if you are interested in Google Ads, what you can do is just start diving in and learning about it and then recreating what you learned in your own words. And, and to be honest, most of the time I've used content, yes, as a, a form of lead gen and getting my name out there and things like that. But it's actually a way to learn and to, to know if you truly know a topic. So if you can produce content uh, around a topic that you have you know, digested and learned, you're gonna understand it much better once you produce the content. And you'll also see what resonates with people. How I got started in Google Ads was, well, I had experience in it in some really big businesses. And basically, in these businesses, the way they run things and what I know now, I would be able to run their ads so much better because most of these businesses are not doing things to the best of the possible ability because they don't have to. They've got huge budgets and they do not need to. So yeah, bigger businesses aren't running things to the best of their ability. And that's actually your opportunity because, because they have such big budgets. Most of the time, the details that smaller businesses uh, focus on get completely overlooked. And if, if you can solve that issue for them, it's worth a lot to them. But the thing is you need to obviously get in front of the right people. But where I'm going with this is by just getting in and trying something, it can lead to other things. So don't be too proud to take on a particular task that you think is beneath you. That's what I'm seeing a lot out there is people think that you know they're up here when really their skill level is down here. And no one hears no anymore. No one gets told off for things. So they think their skill's up here. No one's got the courage to tell them, hey, you know what? Your skills aren't that good. They're not worth anything to anyone. And unless you lift them to here, no one's gonna care because in the world of business and really in the real world, results are rewarded. So if you can get someone a result and outcome, it's gonna be rewarded. With Google Ads, the easiest way to actually get started is just immerse yourself in all the different communities. There's lots of free ones. There's my Facebook group, my YouTube channel. There's a million other YouTube channels. How do you know if the content is correct? I think age of the channel is, is one area. It's not the be all end all because some new people come in and they know a lot of stuff about things or they haven't, they've been working in the industry for a long time. But you really wanna 
Just analyze the types of topics. If they're too hypey, sometimes they're not the right things. I know it's, it's tricky because YouTube lends itself to, to being hypey, but you know, immerse yourself and, and then just fact check things. So do a bit of research and actually see, is this correct? And over time, you, you'll have to start running ads and you'll see if something gets results or it doesn't. And, and then don't be confused. Like when you hear, like you'll have one person tell you, use standard shopping, another person say, use Pmax. Try both and see what works for you. And once you've done that research, I'll tell you one thing though, I, I, had, I did courses in marketing at university and they did not talk about uh, Google ads, they didn't talk about Facebook ads, they didn't talk about all of these things. And these things were around, they're talking about the most random topics. So probably the worst way to go into marketing would be through, I would say university. It's, you can still get jobs through it. I'm not saying you can't, but I'm saying if you wanna build your own business, I wouldn't go and do a marketing degree to then go and start it. You may as well use that three or four years to learn it uh, you know, by either offering your service for free. Getting a job within marketing is probably a really good one uh, in an entry level position, learning it, and then trying to offer your services, right? But what you need to focus on is what is the actual problem you're solving for people? That's the important bit. If you can't nail that, if you just think you're running Google ads, I mean, for me, it's, I wanna make them more sales. I wanna scale. I want to get to increase their product distribution. They're gonna sell more products. So focus on the actual problems and then the actual money will come. If you can solve those problems, the money will come from that. And to, to learn it even further, um, you can invest in courses, you can invest in um, paid communities. I'm part of like EdLeaks, Agency Forge. That's more of like agency focused. I will be relaunching my course and trying to turn it into something that like of a framework that people can use. Um, the tricky bit is just trying to make something that is suitable to a wide range of people. Most of what I work on tends to be more advanced stuff. And on YouTube, I try to do a bit more entry level stuff. But uh, it, it's, it's tricky. It's tricky to kind of teach people of all skill levels or different areas. And that's why potentially a community is the right way to do it. And, and, and it's something I'm considering doing. It's just the busyness in terms of actual client work tends to get in the way of that. And then there's also procrastination. But if you wanna learn ads, get out there, learn the basics through YouTube, actually run some ads, run some test ads for yourself, get a job, you know? Um, I think how I could have done things quicker was actually focusing on one thing because at one point, you know, I went, oh, maybe I'll introduce Facebook ads as well. And that was not smart. I mean, I do still run some Facebook ads, but that is for a really select few clients where they really don't want to go to anyone else to do, they've got Google, they don't want to go to someone else, but really would probably lose the client if they went to someone else. Wrong or right. Um, some of these clients we've been working with for four, five, six years. So I wouldn't want that to happen, particularly when they are a very good client and I do enjoy working with them. So, you know, find out what you enjoy as well. Like, you know, you might think you like Google ads, but you know, maybe Meta or TikTok or Pinterest is more suited to you. But the best thing you can do is try a lot of different things and then you'll find what you are good at, what you like. And, you know, once you find that kind of perfect, um, I guess, alignment between, you know, what you like, what you're good at, uh, money tends to flow from that. And even as long as you're pushing in that direction um, and showing up every day, you're going to do well. Like it doesn't matter what you do, as long as you do that, you will start to do well. So I know this has probably been a bit of a rant and I've gone on a few different tangents here, but I'm just trying to do more content on the fly rather than scripting boring things. Um, so if you've enjoyed it, leave a comment below and I'll see you in the next one.